There's another phenomena that I want to explain to you regarding these devices. When these devices are treated by a special machine called Vital Force Technology, they change the atoms of the titanium on the subatomic level. And as a consequence, the physics behind this says that when the devices are held together, they quantumly entangle. Now, quantum entanglement is quite the mystery. The famous scientists Bohr and Einstein discussed quantum entanglement a hundred years ago. They theorized that it was possible. And in 1960, a physicist named Bell did the mathematical formula that said, yes, quantum entanglement is possible. But it was in the early 1980s when a French physicist named Aspect demonstrated quantum entanglement. So what is quantum entanglement? Quantum entanglement is when two uh, particles are joined together, even though they separate, they are still joined together. And present day research has shown that it is certainly possible. And what we've discovered is that after the disks are infused, they have the capacity to quantumly entangle. That is, even though they're spread apart, they're joined together by an invisible field. We can demonstrate the effectiveness of this invisible field by using the magnet test. I'll demonstrate it in two ways. I'll take the magnet again and we'll demonstrate that she will go weak because the magnet is on the conception vessel. She won't be able to lock her muscle. Resist, she can't lock. If I take one of the entangled discs and place it in her field, she will become strong. Now, when I take an entangled disc out of her field and put it back into the magnetic area, she will still be strong. If I take the magnet out and put it back in, she will still be strong. The previous video showed that when I took the magnet out and put it back in, she became weak. That was because the disc I used in that experiment was an unentangled disc. It's not, a, it's not joined to any other disc. Because this, joint, this disc is joined to the two discs on the podium here, on the stand, the discs on the stand are protecting her against the magnetic field influence on her central nervous system. We can take this a step further. I can take the magnet and bring it over here to the stand and place it on the other discs and then test her. Resist, and she will go completely weak because the negative magnetic field, or the magnetic field is having a negative result on her conception vessel. If I move this away, of course she will be strong because there's no transfer of the magnetic field from the magnets. But if I take this entangled disc and place it on a conception vessel once again, it'll pass right through, resist. The negative effects from the magnet will weaken her in exactly the same way as if she had the magnet itself on her, on her conception vessel.